you haven't tried ice fishing, get out there, give it a shot. These fish get finicky, whether it's bluegills, crappies, you name it. Just maximize your opportunities and maximize those bite windows, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. My sled rigged up here for ice fishing. It's kind of like my, my winter bass boat. This will outperform a horizontal application. We get to a spot and we're out catching fish. The panfish jigs have really changed a lot over my ice fishing career. Uh, you know, some of the things that I've always uh, talked about, here's one of the more recent jigs I've designed, it's called the drop kick. Uh, I like it because it's got a real flat surface on the top here and it reflects your sonar signal real well. Sometimes when there's a lot of zooplankton in the water, interference in the water, it's kind of hard to see a jig, especially if one comes to a point on the top. So the drop kick is, is, is flat on the top and it shows up well. Another thing about the drop kick is that you want to adjust the knot. And what I'm talking about doing that, when you catch a fish on it, it's hanging like this. And it, it doesn't jig near as well. We want it to kick. So you have to slide the knot around the eye of the jig so it, the knot's pointing towards the hook. Then it hangs like this. See how this end of the jig is, is kicking up and down? And the head is kind of sitting stationary? That's uh, why we call this the drop kick. And has a different action than what, what other jigs have. Sometimes that's the key. Uh, you know, with your ice rod, I mean, you can change that action. But you can see how, how quickly I can make that thing bounce up and down like that. And then you graze it and you lower it. All the while, you're giving it that action. And sometimes the fish just can't resist that. Another uh, little technique is a little quick jerks. Some of these zooplankton that's in the water, they're able to dart, you know, eight inches to a foot quickly to avoid being eaten. And then they have to, they have to keep moving, otherwise they sink. So if you stop moving it, then start sinking it down real slow. And now you're imitating some of these creatures that are in the water that are panfish, bluegills especially, are eating. Another drop kick on here, and you notice the color of it. That gets, seems to be really important. It glows, it glows red. That seems to be the most popular jig that, of all the people that I know. They all got a, a, a jig that glows red. You know, red glow drop kick, that's the, the go-to bait. You'll always find one of them tied on one of my rods. You know, gold is probably another good color, especially for perch. Uh, you know, chartreuse, you know, you start talking about dirty water, clean water, you know, things, things make a difference. Another interesting thing about panfish is sometimes just the, the sun going under a cloud can change what the change the color. That's why I have, you know, several rods rigged up with different different uh, you know baits on them and you know all of a sudden they don't bite. They, they grab a new rod. You know this one is called the half ant. You know over years the ant has, has been a popular thing but it, it's beaded the, the half ant or the ant jigs were and they'd have a little hair on them. Uh, this one the end of the hook is at a 45 degree angle. And it, you can make that thing kind of hang halfway. And it, again, it gets you know, a little different jif jigging action. But that's something that a lot of anglers don't do is, is mess with this knot. And it's just amazing what that does to change the action of all of our lures. And you kind of lower it up and down. Now, you know, it's not like some of the water bugs that, that swim in the water. It's also, a, a, you know, some of these plastics that are long and skinny, the, the poly is one. I like to put it on the half ant and you put it on the, the hook and slide it around and then hook it over the tip so it's sticking out like this. And again, you get that little, the end of the tail wiggling. And then of course, you know, the, the new silkies, you know, they, they work well on almost every lure. I've discovered over the years that but instead of having all these different rods tied up, different lures or retying, by just adjusting that knot on the eye of the jig can change the action and change what the fish are biting on that day. So just remember that when you're out there. Knot adjustment is an important part of ice fishing.